Today, I'm going to show you WooCommerce Advanced Price Management Plugin, a powerful tool that transforms how you handle product pricing in WooCommerce. As you know, managing WooCommerce product price for hundreds or thousands of products can take hours or even days. What if I told you there's a way to update all your product price in just a minute? So, in this video, we will discuss how you can set up automated price calculation with markup and VAT tags, import thousands of price updates from CSV file, export your product data for external processing, update individual product price, and generate SKU automatically for products. So, before we dive in, let's make sure you have installed and activated Fox for Advanced Price Management. For WooCommerce plugin. After that, you will see in the WooCommerce an option price management. Click on it, you will be redirected to the WooCommerce Advanced Price Management dashboard. Let's start with the setting tab. In a price calculation setting, you can set up your marker percentage and value added tax percentage. Marker percentage means how much profit you want to gain from your product and value added tax if and how much percentage of a tax you want to charge from a specific product. If I change these values, you can see we have a price calculation preview which give you an idea how this calculation is working. I'm going with the default marker percentage 10 and value added percentage 10, save setting. Now, next we are going to see CSP import option. In CSP import, as you can see, we have an example how your CSV file should look. You need two columns. One is a SKU and a catalog price. For example, this is one of your product, Wu t-shirt, and you want to update the price to 18. Let's test this. If I'm going to choose a one of our SV less upload and a CSV part. Now I'm going to upload a CSV file and I'm going to update the pricing of my products. Once I clicked it, as you can see, four of our product is updated and two of our product is kept. If you scroll down, you will see which products are updated and which products are not updated. So, these are all of our products are updated. As you can see, base price was 26. After markup, they have become 28. And the final product, 32. So, you can see our previous price was 25. And the final product of this product will be 32. And you can see product not updated. Two of our products are not updated. The reason is the price in a CSP was empty and the SKU was wrong. If these two conditions are not matched, then the price won't be updated. So make sure your SKU are correct and make sure you don't put an empty pricing column. We have, there is an other option like if you want to update your CSV file and want to skip any markup on VAT calculation, what does that mean? I will show you. You want your product price to be updated directly from CSV. I want to, I don't want to add any value added tax or markup percentage. I just want these values to be my final price of the products. So if I upload this file again and check this, this will escape markup and value added tax calculation and directly update the pricing which are mentioned in the CSV. Now, let's test the preview. So, as you can see, CSV up price are applied. So, our previous price of these products were 32 and in the CSV, we have mentioned 26. So, now the product pricing are now updated what you have mentioned in the CSV. So this will be the final price of your products. So that's it for the CSV import. Let's move to CSV export options. 
Now CSV export option is a straightforward. Either you want to export all your published product from WooCommerce. If you click on export, it will export all your WooCommerce products. Now let's test this and view the file. If it's working, everything is fine. We have successfully uh, exported our WooCommerce CSV file with two recommended RAWs. You can just update them. Or if you want, if you don't want to export all your publishing products, you can select this option and export your selected option. Let's, I'm going to check just four products. I'm going to click on export CSV. And then now let's test this. It should just export our only four products. As you can see, only four products has been exported, which we have selected. So that's it for the CSV export option. Now let's move to our last option, direct update. Now direct update option gives user a very easy, simple and straightforward. This allow user to update existing product which are already available in its WooCommerce stores. These are all the products which are in my WooCommerce store. I want to update the pricing. I don't want to export any CSP. I just want to directly update, update the pricing. Let's select like four products. I am going to update the pricing of these four products and update the selected pricing. As you can see, these four product pricing has been updated. Calculation final price is 39. So previously it was 32. Now the final pricing is 39. And now let's test the SKU generator. What if one of our products don't have an SKU? Let's go to our all products and let's test this with a uh, Let's go to the t-shirt, edit it, and I'm going to remove the SKU of this product. Once I remove the SKU of this product and came to the direct update option, you will see this will tell you that this product has no SKU. And this gives you an option when you are updating any product in price and you don't have an SKU. It's recommended to generate an SKU for the product. Now I'm going to update the pricing of this product and make sure that this is checked to generate your automatic SKU. I'm going to update this option. As you can see, our product pricing has been updated and also it has generated a unique SKU for this product. Let's test this directly in our WooCommerce store. As you can see, our new generated SKU is here. So what happened if our product is not in an English language, it is using an RTL language. RTL language mostly are Hebrew, Arabic, this type of language. Whatever product is this and, and it, these products don't have an SKU. Let's test this. Our, our plugins support both LTR and RTL international languages. So you don't have to worry. As you can see, this product at no SQ. We are going to generate an SQ for this product. I'm going to update this. And that's it. You can see it has generated a unique SQ for even an RTL languages. That's it. You have now learned how to update thousands of products in minute instead of hour. Maintain consistent price formulas. Generate unique SQ for international character language support. This plugin is perfect for growing WooCommerce store that need professional price management tool. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more WooCommerce tutorial. If you have any question about WooCommerce advice, price management plugin, leave them in a comment below. And thanks for watching.